Hi everyone, this is Steve Tatarunas, Technical Support Manager here at Listen Incorporated. And like many of you, I've been wearing a mask lately to protect myself and others um, when I'm out in public or here in the office. And one thing I've noticed um, when I'm interacting with other people and they're talking to me, depending on the type of mask they're wearing, sometimes their speech clarity is better than others depending on the construction of their mask. And um, I did a little demo at one of our Monday meetings a couple weeks ago um, just to show the company some quick measurements I made on a head and torso simulator comparing two different types of mask constructions. And people really liked it, so I'm going to do a little bit more formal presentation today here in front of a camera uh, for the whole world to enjoy. So um, the thing with these masks is that they have um, they're made from different materials, and these materials can have different acoustic impedances. And you know there are definitely better ways to measure acoustic impedance. In fact, there are some very comprehensive standards out there, uh, ISO, ANSI, on how to measure the acoustic impedance of materials using an impedance tube and multiple microphones and transfer function. But today, we're going to keep it simple, and we're just going to put a couple of different masks on our friend Mr. Hatz over here and do some um, relative comparisons to the response, uh, the mouth response relative to the microphone. So, you know, maybe you can hear it now, maybe you can't, but if I put on this lightweight disposable mask, you know, you're probably going to hear a little bit of a difference in the tonality of my voice. Maybe it's attenuated a little bit, you might hear a little bit of a loss in high end. But I think the more um, dramatic example is when I put on this heavy multi-layer cloth mask and uh, you know my voice becomes quite muffled and uh, it's lacking a lot of high end and a lot of presence. And when I'm talking to people with these heavy masks on, um, they're often asking me to repeat myself because I'm like in a store ordering something, getting a coffee, and I sound like wah, 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 wah. But, um, you know, one of the goals here at Listen is to always try to correlate what we hear with what we can measure. So that's the goal here today. Okay, so what I have here is a very uh, simple sequence, and the uh, goal of the sequence is to make three measurements. One of the unoccluded mouth, and then one using our lightweight mask here, and then another using this heavy cloth mask. Um, and then when we're done with that, we're just going to put a quick uh, break point in the sequence so we can take a look at those response curves and then we're going to continue to uh, the last three post-processing steps. Uh, there's two curve division steps. Those are going to give us our difference curves, the difference between the unoccluded mouth and the masked mouth. And lastly, a uh, curve average step where we can see the uh, average attenuation provided by each mask relative to the unoccluded mouth. Okay, so now let's run the sequence. So I'm prompted to measure the unoccluded mouth. That's easy enough. And now I'm going to place the disposable mask on the hats. And the cloth mask. Okay, so the sequence has hit our break point here, and we can take a look at these three curves. The blue curve is the unoccluded mouth. Uh, the orange curve here is the disposable mask, and the purple curve down below is the cloth mask. So we can see that of the uh, two masks, the cloth mask is clearly providing uh, the most attenuation to the, the signal coming out of the mouth. Uh, at some points, you know, it's probably 10 plus dB. So you can imagine the effect that would have on just a, a regular talker and how it's going to be perceived by somebody listening to the person that's wearing that mask. So uh, let's continue on here and look at our difference curves and then the uh, average attenuation provided by the two different masks. So down below here, we can see the um, disposable mask, and that's, you know, a couple of dB, two, maybe three. It's averaging about 
2.2 dB across the entire measurement range. But down here, this cloth mask is just really killing everything above 1K. It's down, you know, 10 plus dB in some places. So you can imagine, you know, how muffled the speech coming out of somebody's mouth would be when they've got this sort of mask on their face. So this was kind of a fun exercise. The folks in the company really enjoyed it. So we thought we'd share it with you. So thanks for tuning in today and watching our little demo of how we can um, demonstrate using Soundcheck the difference between a couple of different face masks. So stay safe out there, everybody, and keep wearing those masks. And maybe you have a better idea of which one to wear if you want people to understand what you're saying.